afternoon everybody it's unboxing time yes aren't you excited what is in Julian's box now just so that you know this is a genuine unboxing and not one of those fake unboxings that you see in uh, on YouTube channels where they've already opened the packaging they know what's in it but actually I know what's in this well I know what should be in this but as you can see it's still properly sealed and it says here if tape is peeled torn or cut inspect contents of package prior to acceptance okay right well it wasn't torn cut or peeled so I'm going to I've got a knife here cut towards me I shouldn't cut towards me I should always cut away from me and there we are. I'm going to put that in there and uh, open this open this up and what's this we have a we have a piece of paper I'm not going to show you what's on the piece of paper because that's going to give the game away we have a some of this some of this plastic bag stuff filled with air. I'm not going to show you what's in there, but there's air in there. So, you, there it is. so anyway, let's take it out of the box. Let's get rid of the excitement and look at this. It's a GoPro, a GoPro camera, viewers. And let's just take off more packaging. Is this single-use packaging? I'm always, I'm always a bit worried about that, especially since uh, since Greta Greta came along. Uh, Greta Thunberg, that is. It says to avoid dangerous suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Okay, this bag is not a toy. Remember that, kids. Bags, plastic bags are not a toy. So this is a GoPro Hero 7 Black. And well, you know what a GoPro is, but you probably want to know why have I bought a GoPro? Well, if you've seen any of my cycling videos, uh, there's one about Girona where I went with my daughter, had a wonderful time. There's one about Normandy where I went with the old Portland Cycling Club a couple of weekends ago, had a great time. You will know that there was a certain dearth of actual on the bike footage of cycling, and you might think, well, it's a video about cycling and there's no bloody video of cyclists in it and the reason for that is that i didn't have a gopro camera i did used to have a gopro camera uh, and it never really worked very well so in the end i sold it and the only thing i used it for was to take some video of uh, descending sakalobo in mallorca which you probably know and the trouble is if you watch um, 40 minutes or so of a cycling ride it is deadly dull guys and if you've seen any of those videos on YouTube you'll know exactly what I mean so yeah I never really got the most out of it so anyway when I went to Girona with my daughter I had a great time video is, is uh, available on this channel uh, I had a, an ordinary camera Canon G7X as it happens and I tried to attach it to my bike well I did attach it to my handlebar so I could take some moving footage of my daughter Rachel cycling in front of me uh, which I did that for a couple of minutes and then the tripod mount came loose and the camera nearly fell off so I was trying to ride along with one hand because she decided to ride off really quickly so I had to chase after I was riding after her with one hand and with the other hand I was trying to hold the camera so it wouldn't fall off the tripod mount and the thing was shaking all over the place anyway it was shit so I thought the thing to do is I'll get a GoPro Hero 7 now you'll say you'll want to know why did I get the Hero 7 Black being the most expensive GoPro well the reason for that is not because I wanted the most expensive GoPro it's because it has this now you can see that it says hyper smooth can you see that it says hyper smooth gimbal like stabilization so this is supposed to be a wonderfully smooth video and i'm going to be testing it out shall i do a um, further unboxing somebody says my i don't really know how to do this hang on look i've done that right there right there it opens it's an unboxing from the bottom there right it's a, it's a bottom unboxing pardon that expression very nice very nice box and i wonder if this is single-use plastic and it's oh, it's starting to bother me now. so i'll put that there and let me see here's uh here's another box is this single-use cardboard by the way i suspect it is there's uh, a piece of gray card that says plus on it won't worry about that Here's another piece of card that says need help in uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 languages. How about that? So GoPro only recognise 16 languages. But I suppose that's, that's uh, well, they recognise 16 anyway. And here is uh, another thing that looks like a couple of couple of sticky labels probably not sure what you're supposed to do with those and here is a booklet which important product safety instructions and as all men 
No, and probably most women, you take no notice of the important product and safety instructions. You never want to know what that says. And uh, aside from the fact that the print is too small for me to actually see what it says. So what have we got in time? Well, we've got a battery. Yes, this will be a battery, and a small battery. Uh, this will be a USB-C cable, I think. And this will be a mount. Yes, it's a mount. And now here is the camera. Now, there's probably a way. Hang on, I'm going to take that. I'll just take that thing out. And the reason I'm lifting up that rubber strap is, is not because I suddenly know what I'm doing, guys. It's because I actually watched a YouTube video of somebody unboxing a GoPro and they they pulled that out and then they 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 did something and they got this off. Anyway, I can't seem to do that. So I'll undo this. You can see that? I'm undoing undoing the screw. Yeah, I think it's called thumb screw. Yeah, I'm undoing the thumb screw. I'm going to hold that up a bit closer so you can see. There you are. I've undone the thumb screw, and that says remove. Can you see that? Remove. So I'm going to going to remove it. There we are. I've I've removed it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now, but I've removed it, and I'm left with a thumb screw, and I'm left with ah, there we are. I'm left with a GoPro Hero Seven in one of its special mounts. And look, there's a photograph of a, what is that? Is that a, is it a tortoise? Or is it a turtle? Is it a giant turtle or a giant tortoise even? I, I don't know, anyway. So this you, what do you do? Oh, I'm hopeless at this. I'm probably gonna break it. Oh, no, I haven't broken it. I've done that. And I've, I'm taking the camera out of the case. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking the camera, taking the camera out of the case. Pay attention guys, camera's coming out of the, oh, camera is not coming out of the case I mean imagine if you're imagine you're making a video guys right so you're like me you're making a video you want to make a video about cycling and you've got your camera in your case I think I know I'll take I'm riding my bike and I want to take my camera out of the case how are you supposed to do this how are you supposed to I can't get the bloody thing out you might say well, why does you want to take the thing out well I don't know actually it's what you do isn't it no, no, there it is. It's coming. It's coming. I'm probably going to break it now. It's a epoxy thing. Ah, there it is. There, look at that. A, that's a GoPro. So now you know. If you've never seen a GoPro before, uh, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to, I have ordered a couple of SD cards. It doesn't come with an SD card. I think that's a bit off, don't you? Uh, it doesn't come with a micro SD card, which must go in the micro SD card slot. Not sure when that is. Might need to look at the instructions. So I'm going to come back to you a bit later on when I've got it set up and made, maybe take a bit of sample footage. So thanks for watching so far. Hope you're still with me. Uh, see you in a bit. Welcome back. It's actually the following day, but I've tried to preserve a bit of continuity, so I'm wearing the same top. Don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit darker because it's quite early in the morning. Rest of the family are asleep. Anyway, need to get back to my uh, GoPro unboxing. And uh, before I get back to the GoPro, I've got a little bit more of this. Is an unpackaging, uh, and you can probably guess what's in this package. But I know how excited people get about un. This is more, more, is this an envelope? This is perhaps more of an unenveloping. Anyway, I'm taking it out and what is it? Ah, look, it's a SanDisk Extreme uh, micro SD card with extreme capture, transfer and app speeds. Not quite sure what that means. And it's a 64 gig. Now I need this obviously because they don't provide a micro SD card with the GoPro. Now the problem I'm going to have is opening the packaging so um, I don't think I can do this without tools so back in a minute back with some scissors so we'll start again now can I cutting this open here I don't know if you can see this Okay, there we go. Need to be careful because if I cut these things, then they will 
not work properly. Now, can I get that out of there my, without cutting it in half? There we are. And uh, can, you, can you see that? There we are. Oh, look, there we are. Look, really, I can't see that in my eyes. It says Sandisk Extreme. So that's one of the micro SD cards. I won't waste your time by undoing them all. So I'm going to try and open the camera again. You remember the trouble I had getting the camera out and I'm still having much the same trouble getting the camera out. done it. Now uh, I charged the battery up uh, yesterday uh, after I left you and managed to get rid of the giant turtle or the giant tortoise. Now I assumed that it was a little bit of plastic film covering the back protecting it giving you a picture of a giant tortoise and uh, tortoise tortoise turtle uh, giant turtle and that in fact turned out to be the case but I didn't find it very easy to get that bit of film off and when I switched it on I could see what the screen was doing underneath the turtle but I thought well why doesn't the turtle disappear there must be something that makes it disappear anyway I did finally get the uh, bit of film off and plugged it in charged it up and now it's uh, is it it's oh god it's ah right I've done that so there you are you can see I put the battery in managed to achieve that so now it's SD card time and that goes in this little slot there. Can you see that? You always need to be careful the way around these go. And ah, I think that's it. And you need a you need a thumbnail. If you don't have a thumbnail, it doesn't work. There we are. I think I've done it. So put it back on and switch it on. Oh beep 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 and look at that. Look at that guys. Can you see that? And you can probably see I'm gonna hold it up there. You can probably see my face now on two screens isn't that interesting i've never i've never experienced that and uh i suppose when i watch this video back then i can experience it myself but until then right i'm going to move the camera around because if i wave it around rather quickly uh, it's going to be a bit weird so there there you are i'm now filming filming myself uh filming myself and there you are. i can see what's in the background you can see a camera on a little tripod you can see a light you can see a lamp you can see some uh curtains uh, a light and quite a lot of dust Anyway, I'm going to turn this off now. How do I turn it off? I, uh, no, no, oh, no, I haven't turned it off. I've actually taken some film. Oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. How do I stop that? All right, boom, turn it off. There we are, seven seconds of film and check out your media, it says. Swipe up to see the photos and videos on your GoPro. Sorry, you can't put that there. Now you can read it. Well, you can read what I've just read out to you, so there's not much point in doing that. Anyway, I'm going to turn it off and hopefully I'm going to beep 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 oh it's turned off there we are i've done it hopefully uh in a little while uh may even keep the same t-shirt on so the uh, continuity works out i shall take some um film and probably take some film and be waving the camera around so we can see what the stabilization is actually like so don't go away no no oh no i haven't turned it off i've actually taken some film oh uh didn't mean to do that how do i stop that Right, well I've taken the GoPro out into the field. I've come down to Whitstable because I'm planning to ride there at the weekend. So I've come down with uh, my mate Simon to drop some bags off at the Premier Inn. And I'm now walking along with the GoPro. Uh, this is by Whitstable Harbour. And now I'm actually running along. Managed to run for about uh, 20 yards before I got out of breath. And you can see the stabilization is pretty good. Now I've got the GoPro on a, uh, a little kind of handheld tripod thing, um, which I might do another video on when I talk about accessories. So I'm holding the GoPro out in front of me, walking along. And as you can see, 
the stabilization is really pretty good slight curvature there uh, is that the curvature of the horizon or is it the effect of the wide angle lens i think it's the effect of the wide angle lens and now i thought i'd try a little clever cinematic trick do you remember this uh, i think orson wells was the first person to do this in citizen kane that great film about a flock of seagulls so i'm waving the camera around i'm not doing anything special just walking along with it really just trying to give you a feel of what the images are like and the quality of the images the light from the camera so so far I'm very pleased with it it's a nice camera to hold on the little tripod it's not too obtrusive so I suppose if you're wandering around and taking film and shoving it into people's faces it's not going to be too embarrassing as you can see it's it's a fairly gray day it's quite a cold day actually quite overcast and here I am this is what uh, I think this is called a selfie kind of stick so I'm holding the camera out in front of me on the selfie stick and as you can see I'm just about to fall off the edge okay so I'm back in the workshop for this uh, summation of the GoPro Hero 7 Black uh, hopefully this will give you some idea of what the built-in microphone sounds like although I'm inside I'm not outside so you can't hear the sort of wind buffeting noise but uh, we'll see what that's like uh, I can't see uh, the screen because although there's a touch screen at the back of the camera uh, there's no flipping screen <laughs> there's no there's no flipping screen if you know what I mean so I can't actually see the screen so I can only hope that you can see me in shot and if you can't see me in shot I'm going to look a little bit silly but I'm so far I'm very pleased with it it's the usual small GoPro form factor. Uh, it's very nice looking camera, very nice, uh, very nice feel in the hand. If uh, that doesn't sound too too odd, and um, the stabilisation seems very effective. The uh, touch screen itself is is very nice. Um, and I'm planning to go to Whitstable uh, at the weekend, do a little bit of cycling, and I plan to take the GoPro with me. So hopefully you'll see some uh, film of cycling and perhaps even see me on the bike and I'll make a little video so you can see how the GoPro perform performs in real life. So hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.